Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So today's video comes so highly requested. As soon as I showed some of these puzzles in a video a while back, all of you were like, we need to see you solve those in a video. So these are the Studio Ghibli puzzles by Bandai Namco. And this video is actually sponsored by Bandai Namco. So a huge thank you to them for supplying all these puzzles and helping to make this happen. So I have a bunch of smaller puzzles to get through. I'm gonna work my way from the smallest up to the biggest. We're gonna end with this thousand piece, like full size art crystal puzzle. All right, so these are the Ensky Petite Art Crystal Jigsaws. You can see I already did this one off camera, but I'm actually gonna solve this one for you right now. Look at how fun that design is. It really does look like stained glass. You can see it's 126 pieces, so these are perfect for beginners or anyone without a lot of space. So if we open it up, let's see what's inside. Oh my God, I didn't even realize it was taped on the side. <laughs> Not a problem. There we go. Step one complete. Open the box. Oh my gosh, when I tell you, these are some of the most beautiful puzzle pieces I have ever seen. Like, look at that. The translucence, the colors, the shininess. This literally looks like jewels that you have found at the bottom of an ocean. Oh, and even though I wanted this colored background just for some like visual interest, it actually is easier to do this on white. Like, look at this one on here versus how much more detail you get when it's on a white background. Can we just, like, look at how beautiful that is? And we haven't even put it together yet. Oh my gosh, it is like the best ASMR, but in real life. You guys saw that I just did that video about some plastic puzzles from the 90s that I was not the most impressed by. Well, this plastic puzzle has fully like blown them out of the water. The pieces fully locked together. Look at that, nothing's coming off. I'm not even done yet, and it's already looking so beautiful. I haven't had a single false fit. Even though the pieces might not look that unique, um, I haven't had anything fit where it's not supposed to go. I honestly like don't have anything that I would critique about this puzzle. I am loving this. Look at that. 
So I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and do this one as well, and then we can take a closer look at all three. Oh wow, look at that. It took me 13 minutes exactly. Like, can we just? These look like, I don't know, translucent trading cards, but they're jigsaw puzzles. They hold together so well. I can like throw this in the air, nothing is happening, but you can still take them apart pretty easily if you wanna redo them. So now let's see what we've got here. I think this is, oh yeah, look, it's this exact puzzle. Oh my gosh. Look, it's a picture frame to display your puzzle right in front of a window. So if we pop that out, uh, I'm pretty sure. All we do is, oh, it fits perfectly. We place that in there. We put that back. And then I assume these are to either um, hang it or be able to lean it against uh, the table. So if I do that, what happens if I do, ooh, you're really not getting this from the overhead angle, but you can see it can either stand up on the short side or the long side. And it's just a simple picture frame, but it is see-through, so the light can come in through both sides. So let's go look at them in front of a window. It's gonna be so beautiful. All right, there it is. So I don't actually have like a nice windowsill anywhere in my apartment. I kind of wish this was raised up a little, but if I just hold it up to the light, it is so pretty. I could totally see this being an actual decoration and it's something just a little bit different than having a regular cardboard puzzle on display. And then I also just temporarily taped the other two onto the window. Um, super pretty and this would make such a fun decoration. All right, so doing those first puzzles just made me even more excited to get to the bigger ones. This one is 208 pieces, and here is what the picture looks like. On the back of the box, you can see that you can also get a frame to display this size, and you can get it in any of these colors. This one is also a translucent art crystal puzzle, although since the picture is a little bit darker, um, there are definitely some pieces that aren't as translucent. Bringing back the 126 piece puzzle for a minute, um, these pieces are definitely much larger. That was gonna be like my only critique on these mini puzzles, which is that you need quite a bit of hand dexterity because the pieces are so small. So even just going the next size up, uh, the pieces are much, much larger.
So I have to admit that with the different piece size, I wasn't totally sure if it was going to be as satisfying to do this one as it was to do the minis, but it totally was. This is such a beautiful puzzle. And even though it's larger, it still holds together super well. I'm like, I don't even know what magic this plastic is made of. I'm so impressed. All right, so this next one is something a little bit different. So this one is called an artboard jigsaw canvas style. And the whole idea with this one is that you put it together as a puzzle and then some of the pieces fold back and the whole thing at the end is gonna look like a canvas. So if we look at the back, we have this whole like Ikea style diagram showing how you fold the pieces up. I'm gonna take a closer look at this um, after I have solved the puzzle, but I have no idea what's in here. I do not know what to expect. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of supplies in here. <laughs> so these pieces are not translucent, but they are still plastic. And it looks like we have some really big pieces that are gonna go in the corners. Oh yeah, if I flip that over, um, I think this is gonna bend up and sort of snap together, but uh, we're gonna do all that at the end. So here's what one of the regular pieces looks like. It's uh, a little bit shiny. It doesn't feel super glossy. Um, there's the thickness. I definitely think this is gonna be a more difficult picture than the ones I've already done, but it's only 366 pieces. So let's push all of these extra building supplies off to the side and put this puzzle together. Okay, a little update on how these pieces feel as you put them together. It's definitely different from the art crystal puzzles. You can see you kind of have to put a little um, muscle into it to get them to snap together, but it is so satisfying when they do. Um, if it's just one connector, you don't need quite as much force as I just did for that one. So here's another one. Ooh, this is gonna be really, really satisfying. There it goes. Of course, I have now done uh, the easy parts very quickly, so the rest is gonna be a little bit harder. Oh my gosh, also these edge pieces, look, they have these pieces on the back, which means they don't lie flat on the table. So I decided to just put them off to the side for now, but it means that when I'm working on this, I have no edge, so I just have to work until Nothing connects anymore, and I don't know exactly how far out the puzzle is gonna go. All right. 
right. So I admit that after doing all of those puzzles the other day, I was so tired. So after finishing this in an hour and 18 minutes, I decided to take a little break and start fresh to figure out how to assemble this. So all of the instructions are right here on the box. However, they're all in Japanese, but I don't want you to be intimidated by that because I have a little trick to show you. So if you open up the free Google Translate app, you can go down here and click this button called camera, and then you can go ahead and just take a photo of what you wanna translate. And when we zoom in, it has been translated. I mean, it's a rough translation, but we'll, we'll get the gist of it. Okay, so I already did step one, which is just to assemble the flat part of the puzzle. Okay, it looks like for step two, I have to put the corner pieces in place and then add all of the edge pieces. But if we bend the pieces before attaching them, it'll be easier later on. Okay, well, uh, let's see. This one I think is gonna... Yeah, so that corner is gonna go there. And then, oh, it bends really easily. Why did I think that was gonna be a lot harder? All right, so now the whole thing is uh, kind of sitting up on these corners here. So now I guess it's uh, back to doing a jigsaw puzzle again because I need to figure out the order that all of these are gonna go in around the edges. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on. Oh no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I only just realized that these edge pieces are numbered. So it's not even like a real jigsaw puzzle. You can literally just put them in order. Well, I'm gonna do it like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm gonna try my best not to look at the numbers. This is so fun. It's like an extra activity after you finish the puzzle. So here's where we are right now. And I fully admit I cheated and looked at the numbers, but you really wanna make sure that you do get them in the correct spot because in the next step of the process, they say to double check because it's really hard to undo after you attach the next piece. So you can see that we have all of these grooves here along the side and we have these long plastic pieces that we're just gonna somehow uh, slide onto there. Let me uh, double check the diagram again. I think I just push it on like, is it going? Like that. Oh, oh, it's going, it's going. Oh man, you have to put a little bit of muscle into this. I feel like the middle isn't pushed down as much as the edges. No, actually, I think that looks okay. Okay, these are going on so much easier. I don't know why I was having issues with that first one. All right, so now that these pieces are attached, it looks like the next step is just to um, fold these up and then snap them into this groove in this piece that we just put in. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, that looks so cool. This feels so solid now. It really does feel like a canvas, except it's a puzzle. I've never seen anything like this. I mean, obviously I've seen canvases and I've seen puzzles. I've never seen them combined in this way. So the next step uh, should be a little easier. We just have to take these corner pieces and I think just sort of slot them in place. Oh yeah, that's so easy. 
All right, so then we just take this little mountain hanging piece and we put that uh, here on this side. This is gonna be the top. And then we have this uh, command strip piece that can slot in there. Um, I personally, I don't think I'll be permanently hanging this up, so I'm just gonna set this one piece aside. But there we go, here's how it all looks. This, as I said, this feels so solid. And then here it is from the front. So when you look at it, you can tell it's a puzzle, but it's so seamless. It wraps all the way around. It genuinely looks like a canvas. It looks like artwork. I know that a lot of people love displaying their puzzles. Um, sometimes it can be hard to find a frame that is the exact right size for the puzzle you want to display or to like figure out how to transfer the puzzle into the frame and like be able to actually hang it up if you want to glue it if you want to tape it like there's just a lot to consider there with this it is all just included in one full package and i love how figuring out how all of this like armature works is honestly part of the puzzle itself i had a great time putting this all together Oh man, it's finally time. We have made it to the thousand piece puzzle. You have no idea how excited I am to do this one. Putting in every single one of these pieces is so satisfying. I can't believe I get to do it a thousand times. <laughs> Okay, so with these, we definitely have the larger size pieces again, and they're actually pretty thick. I think they're thicker than uh, the other puzzles that I've done, which makes sense because we have a larger surface area that all needs to hold together. So these have to be a little more substantial. Once again, they're translucent. So when we hold this up to the light, it's gonna be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. And I know I said this before, but just like, the colors, the texture that you get, these look like jewels. It is one of the most beautiful puzzles I've ever seen. I feel so lucky that I get to put this together. So let's reset our timer and let's get started. All right, I'm an hour into it and I am flying through this puzzle. I've done all the sorting as well as basically three of the circles already. So an interesting thing about this puzzle is that since the pieces are translucent, you really do have to fully spread them out to see all the color differences. So with these, when they're all stacked on top of each other, you're losing like some of that color that you get when it's on a white background. So the further and further I go, the more I'm gonna keep spreading these out so I can truly see all of the colors all at once. But I'm gonna go take a lunch break. Uh, when I get back, I can work on Snow Totoro. I can work on the cat bus and then uh, this nice flower in here. But I am loving this. I do so many puzzles on this channel that are hard and frustrating and this one is just 100% fun and satisfying. Oh man, I didn't even plan this, but last night my friend and I went out to dinner at a Japanese restaurant and so my lunch is my leftover ramen. Oh, this is perfect. I'm so on theme.
All right, so that took me just over three and a half hours and they were some of the most fun three and a half hours I have had lately. Oh wow, okay, so I just put the big one up on the window. Look at how beautiful that is. Every single color is just coming through beautifully. It really does look like stained glass and it all fits together so closely that you can only tell it's a puzzle when you get really close up. So if you want to try any of these puzzles for yourself, you can get them at your local Barnes & Noble store, or you can get them online on the Bandai Namco website. And I'm going to have all of the links right down below. And the prices range from $10 for the mini puzzles to $60 for the thousand piece puzzle. So if you're on the fence, but you're at Barnes & Noble and you see these, you have to pick one up, at least just one of the minis. I promise you it will be one of the most satisfying puzzles you ever do. You guys know that I am not afraid to critique puzzles, even the tiniest little nitpicks, but I honestly like didn't really have critiques for these. I loved them. Okay, but wait, I have one more puzzle that I have not featured yet. I figured I was doing so many puzzles in this video that I could take this one and just kind of do it for fun out in the living room. So here is just a little bit of bonus footage of one more puzzle. So once again, a huge thank you to Bandai Namco for sponsoring this video. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done one of these puzzles or if you think it's one that you would want to try. Or let me know what your favorite Studio Ghibli movie is. I admit I haven't seen all of them. Um, I liked Kiki's Delivery Service. I liked um, My Neighbor Totoro, of course, it's a classic. I actually saw a uh, Ponyo in the theaters. I thought it was so cute. I think after doing all these puzzles, I have to go catch up and watch all the rest of the movies. Anyway, your code word for the comments will be satisfying. Happy puzzling, and I will see you all in the next one.